Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to talk a little about how to gank as Tlia jungle and how to do these good moments of ganks and ganking and how to focus also on the objectives that are nearby, what priorities you should have and how to generally assess the matchups. So we're going for this example now. We have in the jungle mastery against Tlia so we have to play we have to play post 6 extremely careful as if, if he just holds here there, he's going to murder us. And in rest, uh, we'd want to actually focus on the lanes that can win. Now, we do have Aphelios, Aphelios, I don't know if I pronounce correctly that, and uh, Trash on bot lane, which is a very strong lane into Varus Leona. Now, Varus Leona can be strong, but with Trash's, uh, how can I say, setup, we can actually do some pretty cool ganks and if we are first we're going to do fine so one target is to be nearby uh, and also to be near drakes because you don't want a mastery who has a very low old cooldown reduction also we have ignite on both mid laners and on both top laners so both lanes will probably try to fight now our also will push a lot we know that since he's a champion that pushes a lot and he's into an assassin now what we know from Talia that is that we hate assassins as roamers, so how can I say? Our soul hates uh, assassins, Tulias hates assassins, Twisted Fate is dealing better with them, but he still hates assassins, so that means if you hit a W on that Our soul and waste his flash, or if we just hit a W without him flashing, we're going to snowball mid. If we snowball mid, he will not have time to roam because he'll be forced to farm. And then on top lane, we have a Riven that's Come on, we have a Riven and Katarina. These champions scale very hard compared to what do they have, what they do have. So we're interested in playing around the map as much as we can. And we're going to focus in this game on roaming and ganking and not farming, okay? So we're in the season in which everyone says, please gank a lot. And we're going to actually do something crazier than usual because if we gank now, and if you don't let this Aurelion soul get level 2, okay, so just do this, okay. Okay, see, see how simple this was. He pushes, he, we, knew, we knew he would push, we just went there, we got the kill, okay. Now he has his lane pretty much ruined. Now I started W level 2 and I do not have any health potions, but I can kite as better as I can this red buff. I can really just keep him back, but honestly... With E you can farm better, and everyone knows that, uh, but again, if you want to keep full HP, you can go for W second. And if you want to do an early gank as I just did, please look for the opportunities like that. Because if you're against a champion that likes to push, maybe Malzahar, maybe Ziggs, I don't know, champions like that, then you're going to have opportunities, as I did there. And, and, uh, can you, can you come here, flash, 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 maybe flash, flash. Good. I can just yeah now bot lane wins hard for some reason and I expect this guy to win too mastery is ahead in level because he actually farmed while I uh, did the gank mid but because we've been careful oh my god okay that that ribbon <laughs> overextended there because we've been careful with the gank uh, we can actually uh, we can actually focus on farming a bit now and we're going to help that Riven because she apparently is not that wise and we can also farm the Vrites easily. How do you even lose the lane after I ganked you? A perfect level 2 gift from, from me and... Okay, now we want to let the minions go. Oh, okay, he <laughs> that's why he ran away so quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Now, we're not that scared of Mastery because we can just W under us, but if he's good, if he's good, he will actually uh, Q at the right time, but we do have Flash, so we're good. But what I'm pissed about... Okay, and the Riven is fighting again. What I'm pissed about is... Okay, come on. And we pass the kill to the Riven, which is great. Now, be careful next. And we're gonna win. 
effect, so we gotta motivate her to. Now, we're moving around the map to the mid lane because we knew that this guy just has no work here. So we can actually do this, and we just did half HP, so it's fine. Some correcting potion stacks, and we need to be careful towards the bot lane as well, because they are going to be more aggressive now. And the mastery that is fed, we don't really want that. Uh, we dislike that much, as much as we can we dislike that. And we also have to finish the jungler item. But because the bot lane won, we're not interested in going there right now. Okay, they, they seem to do fine. Okay, never mind. They seemed to do fine up till this point when they overextended. I'm coming, but I don't know, I cannot help you much. Yeah, there's probably, you're probably dead, okay. Ah, okay. Still alive. Okay, so we can actually, can actually help this guy right here. If bot lane overextends, I, I pinged them. I pinged them that... Uh, why, why, why this happened? This shouldn't happen. So again, the idea before I pinged that they were going to get ganked by Master E, he actually waited in that bush pretty much. But it's fine really, because we can gank his lane. And that virus didn't get anything, we just need to be careful around, uh, around them. Okay, and now we have a free kill on virus, because he overextended so much here, okay. Even if he has flash, he's not escaping this, we're just passing the kill. Again, creating such a big difference with early ganks. Now, as you can see, I'm going mid again. I mean, I'm insane. Please get kill. No, okay. So, we're, we're just, you're just ganking again. Where, where is Katarina? Why is Katarina not fucking coming? I'm setting up perfect ganks. I missed that, so it's not perfect. But again, keeping the Aurelion Soul here is actually what's going to win us. And I don't know what to do about top lane. Honestly, I think I need to give up on him. Because, again, you notice the players that are experienced, you notice the players that are not, and you focus on the ones that are experienced indeed. So, yeah. Uh, back off. Back off. Oh my god. Uh, they are probably winning 2 versus 3. Because Aphelios is busted, pretty much. And that's why, that's why you give kills, I'm coming. Come on! So that's why you come. Because there is an Aurelion Soul that's going to fail. And... <laughs> you gotta be there. And here's a free plate, by the way. Now... Estelia, you have that passive, you have this amazing, amazing passive, you have this thing that enables you to walk half the map in seconds, even if you don't have boots. And when you have boots... What is this guy even doing? Now, I definitely should have not pushed her into... Why, why is she trolling though? Because she's definitely not gonna win this, right? doing 20 frames ganks and now I have a free kill on this but yeah generally you should you should focus on how I played here and while I do expect the master E to come I also expect my bot lane to help me guys Weird flex, but okay, not even going to smite it. So we ensure that... Okay, so... I'm not even going to pass kills anymore to that Riven. Because we're at the point where we just kind of try to stop the poppy. And now we're doing Herald because 
my whole team is on the other side of the map and I see mastery so it's this is a free herald for me okay and also always try to proc that freaking bubble like I'm not doing here right okay so you can see that we gained tremendous advantage on bot lane because they win initially we won initially sorry not win I'm gonna hit it ah, I hate this so I'm gonna move here I'm gonna do this when he's charging up I'm gonna hit it right finally and then we're going to finish it up okay come where is the bubble So we got this, and now I'm going top again because Riven is having serious problems here. Now I would have clearly enjoyed this more. Okay. The fun thing now is that if we notice that Master is not here, I, I can auto escape, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I really did not expect that one. If I if he wasn't here, we would have gone got away with it. Now I probably just wasted a herald, right? I might still have time if I quickly do it. Now they are destroying them. Ah, oh, that was a beautiful kill, but nonetheless, it didn't matter. She still, she still uh, got the kill. Now we're going second item for Zonias because they are basically insane. And now we're actually rushing down to see if we can reach the Herald in time for the plates. Let's see, 30 seconds, we're casting out. Ah, there is a chance, we're, we're going, we're taking the chance. We're rushing it down, come on, come on, come on. We're getting plates, we're getting plates. Hitting this and putting the Herald down. Okay, come on, charge up, at the boy go, 4, 3, 2, 1, damn, mission is successful, 300 gold for no reason. Okay, and as you can see they are doing everything now, I don't even need to go there anymore because they are so winning so hard, I just need to kind of help them on top. So basically because I took care a bit of Katarina early on and then I went bot. I even took care of Riven but because she's the... I don't want to say the inferior player. Just the most, the more unskilled one in that matchup. Well... Well, we had to focus elsewhere. And we went elsewhere and we did kind of fine. The only problem was when I trolled and died to Mastery. Now we have... Now we have a better itemization, so we don't repeat that. But they are fighting again on mid, so back off. Just back off. And while we did not find exactly the best player to... Oh my god, stop fighting. And I'm gonna get ulted now, right? Okay, no. Basically, before you choose... What are you doing? Before you choose which lanes to gank, you can actually look if the person is an OTP on Riven, for example. Okay, so... That was a free kill. And because probably our Riven is not an OTP, or not a player that's that experience... Okay, they are inting at this point. Come on, take it. Are they doing Drake? They are not doing Drake. I'm doing Drake. So we found the Katarina, we got her the kills. And the recommendation is as it stands, just, just focus on the OTPs, on the players that are most skilled in the context. And I'm going to have another chat with Mastery, probably. Okay, got it. Chat no longer needed. Oh. That's the thing right there. I'm going. Going for the puppy. Okay, help me. Um, Raven. Raven. I still got the kill. I, I don't. I don't understand that Raven. <laughs> she got stuck in the wall. You have a flash. Come on. Oh, that was a nice job. Just. She has flash. 
why, why, why we're not killing stuff? Now they don't really have any heals, any serious heals besides Conqueror, so I'm not going for, for Morelos. I got the Zonia because I'm ahead and I don't want to give a lot of shutdown gold, which I just did to players, but normally you should play a little bit safer than my craziness. And, and we're actually doing fine. We're going to keep giving the advantage towards ADC and mid lane because they are the capable players, so you gotta find those players in your team. If they are none, you get the kills, as I kinda do, especially on top. So you've seen that I did not pass kills to Riven because I don't expect her to actually be a player that's going to carry me. So if you feel like you're the one doing the shots, the one shots for example, when you need in a mid game team fight to actually win the fight and your Riven is not enough, well you can be the player that actually wins and one shots and does that stuff. And this is a perfect, perfect moment to get a double kill. And he bolted out. I'm still chasing you buddy. I don't care, I'm chasing. No longer chasing. Okay, so, you learned the lessons, you focus on the right lanes, you gank when it's necessary. If you can gank your mid laner at level 2, don't, don't shy from it. Just be careful so you don't get invaded at red, okay? So that's a major plot point right there that you gotta focus on. And besides that, we don't, I don't pretty find this game compared to others. I mean, look at the farm, at the gold difference, again 300 uh, bounty. And trying to save you oh my god look <laughs> exactly that's what you got to do. you gotta be the hero right <laughs> it was there uh, okay and we now go to mid lane here abusing that virus at this point wait to see if I can snitch a W on someone why is Katarina stirring dirt okay that definitely made sense. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? I'm following you. Ah, come on. I'm gonna kill you too. Don't I don't care, I don't freaking care. Okay, kill him. Okay, freaking Jesus Christ. Chill, mind. Two seconds till I can actually smite it, so... You go smite it, yeah, you get it. And now I'm going to get that buff. I don't like when Master E gets random kills, because... I missed that W for no reason. Because he's going to scale and murder everyone. But we're at the point where Katarina is just lulling them around, so yeah, they surrendered. So what are the main takeaways from this? What I just done this game, I noticed which lane can give me kills. I went mid level 2 because our Leonso will always push the lane against everyone to try to roam at level 2, right? So we went there, we got the kill. We move top, we try to play around top, we try to get Riven fed, because if you get Riven fed and also Katarina game's over, we won. But Riven wasn't that skillful, I don't want to insult her, him, maybe he just doesn't have experience. But you can notice this stuff in OPGG multi-query, you just put everyone there, you see if you have an OTP, if he's an OTP he's going to do decent if he's fed or at least not going to int. And if you help him and win the 2 versus 2s, then you're certainly going to win. And because we are against the Master we don't expect counter ganks really early on, we just expect him maybe to come at our red, maybe to trick us, to cheese us. So we focused on mid lane and then we tried to focus on top lane, but we couldn't continue on top lane because, well, we've seen the problem. So we switched to bot lane where we moved and killed and got a lot of kills and dark harvest stacks from there. And we also got a Phileas some gold, we also played around Katarina a bit more. We got drakes, we focused on drakes, we killed as many people as we could and we could play the round with vision so we did everything that was required in general to secure a win i also got fed in the process but that was not the point of the video i really hope you enjoyed this kind of videos i tried to keep it and edit it as short as i possibly could and see you next time guys this was part two of my Talia advanced Talia guide series it was mostly all about how you analyze your comp 
so that exercise you can do you can try to predict you can even check for stats for the general matchup okay so if you have a rhythm against Pope, you can go to the internet you see if both of them are otps and if both of them are otps you go and see the stats and win rates for that specific matchup because there exist tons of sites that provide an analysis so for each game you could gain so much more knowledge than the average player and that could actually help you climb that could be the two percent or ten percent of skill that was missing for you to climb i'm drew matt and i really hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye. <coughs> oh my god. Goodbye.